everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some of my favorite healthy lunch snack ideas. You had my heart, we'll never be worlds apart, maybe in magazines. And kind of mix and match them to make the perfect lunch and I'm gonna walk you through how to make each and every one of them some of them are super easy and quick to make actually all of them are easy some of them are really quick but some of them take a little bit longer but they're all very basic and simple recipes I would just recommend you making your lunch either the day before the night before um, maybe you could do kind of like a meal prep thing where you make multiple lunches and that way you can just kind of grab them the morning of and take your lunch for school because sometimes it can just be very stressful to make a quick lunch in the morning and then rush off to school and oftentimes when that happens you probably don't choose the healthiest choices this way in doing the meal prep or making the night before you can always ensure that you know what you're gonna have for lunch that it's healthy and good for you and nutritious so you guys really wanted to see this video you requested it so so much so here it is I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started with all of the healthy school lunch ideas plus I'm including a couple things that I love from Trader Joe's okay let's get started Okay, so the first one that I'm gonna show you guys how to make are these absolutely amazing cucumber sandwiches, I guess. I love these and they're super fast to make. You can make a ton of them and take them for lunch. Plus they're really filling because cucumber has a lot of water in it and that's just kind of, I don't know, it makes it a little bit more filling. Um, but the protein in there is gonna be substantial and give you energy. And um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off by taking a cucumber and cutting it in half. And then once you cut the cucumber in half, you're gonna take those halves and cut them in half. And then you're gonna take a spoon or something of that sort and go ahead and just cut out the middle or scrape out the middle part of the cucumber. And then you just wanna go ahead and stuff it with seriously anything. I just chose a little bit of red bell pepper and some peppered turkey. Whatever you wanna stuff this with, you can make tuna, you could, honestly, the options are endless. I'm not even gonna go into like what you can stuff it with because you can literally put anything that you want to in it. It is super delicious. The cucumber is so refreshing. And I don't know about you guys, but I like cucumber in my sandwiches. So this is like a cool way to like make a new kind of a twist on a sandwich almost kind of because it's like a sandwich except it's just without the bread so you get more vegetables and um, it's just all around super refreshing and delicious. So this one is a nice little snack. These are agave, uh, cinnamon, sugar, uh, apple chips and these are incredible. So most of you probably don't have a food dehydrator at home. If you do, you can make your own dehydrated apples like I do, but you can find dried apples at most grocery stores, but we're just gonna add a little bit of a twist to them and these are great, great substitute for potato chips. If you have your own food dehydrator, go ahead and dehydrate your apples. If not, you can go ahead and purchase them at the store. And you can get them at Trader Joe's or Vaughn's or wherever you grocery shop. Pretty much everyone has like apple chips or dehydrated apples or whatever. And then you just wanna go ahead and add a little bit of agave or honey, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And I mean the very smallest amount because if you add too much, it's going to make the apples really just sticky and heavy and um, they're not gonna be easy to eat because you're gonna get your fingers all nasty and sticky and then go ahead and put the apples after you've kind of tossed them up in the agave or the honey and then you want to put them inside of a bag with a little bit of cinnamon and I use Truvia but you could also use Stevia whatever natural sweetener that you want to use so that is all you have to do and then you uh, just shake it up in the bag and there is your really delicious sweet cinnamony apple chips the next thing we're gonna make um, I don't have a name for these yet but they kind of remind me of those little crackers with the peanut butter in the middle of them like the peanut butter sandwich crackers um, if you know what I'm talking about but these are a lot healthier for you they're not processed um, there's no weird added preservatives or anything like that in them so you can find banana chips at your local store health food store um, they carry them at my Vons, um, wherever you want to find them or I have a food dehydrator so I just dehydrated my own bananas and then all you have to do is put a little bit of almond butter or peanut butter I prefer almond butter in the middle and then just sandwich the two together and that is seriously it these are such a great snack because they have potassium they have really healthy fat for your brain they're gonna help you think while you're at school and these are so great especially if you run or you're active after school potassium is really going to help with that 
Um, so yeah, anyways, this is a great snack and they're so tasty. So they're naturally sweet and they're just very satisfying. So I love, love these. This next little snack is seriously one of my favorites when I was a little kid. So I just kind of made them again. I wanted to remind you all of childhood and really good food. So these are what I call the ants on a log, but I decided for some of them to add a little bit of coconut. But all you have to do is take a couple pieces of celery and just chop them up and then you can add peanut butter or almond butter. I'm using almond butter. And then you just put some raisins on the top. You can put raisins. You can put coconut, which I did, which a lot of people are going to probably think that's really weird. But I am obsessed with anything coconut. So I put coconut on there. You can do whatever toppings that you want. I actually think this is the perfect crunchy and creamy snack. You're going to get some protein from the peanut butter or almond butter. And obviously you got your vegetables in there and a little bit of natural sugar from the raisins if you choose to use them. So, love this. Um, I love all of this. Seriously, you guys, you gotta try it out. It's really good and hey, hey, this reminds you of when you were a little kid, right? So, yeah. So your next recipe is really easy. It takes a little bit more time to make, but it's very simple. So what you wanna do is chop up some carrots into kind of the size of fries because these are going to be carrot fries. But what you wanna do is chop them up into pretty thin slices. As you can see, this is what I'm going to do here. So I'm just taking them, chopping them in half, cutting those halves in half, and again, cutting those in half. So there's a lot of halving here. And then what you wanna do is just toss them in two teaspoons of any oil that you want. I would recommend coconut oil or olive oil. I personally use coconut oil. And then you just wanna to top them with a little bit of sea salt, and then pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes at 450 degrees and 15 to 20 minutes, it depends on your oven, I guess, and where you live. So that's how you make the carrot fries. They're super simple, and they are so delicious and very nutritious for you. The oil is, again, going to help your brain. The carrots, beta carotene, it's all really great for you, and they're so tasty. Okay, this next recipe is kind of my take on the BLT, but this is so delicious, especially if you like avocado. Um, if you don't, obviously you can just like make a BLT sandwich, maybe with some whole grain bread or whatever. Um, but this, I, I personally love avocado, so I just took out two, I just half an avocado. Then you just want to fill the avocado with turkey bacon. I'm using 94% uh, lean or fat free turkey bacon from Trader Joe's. And then you want to just put some tomato in there and you can put some seasoning. My dog is walking through here, that is why there's that kind of noise. So that's all that you have to do to make these. They're amazing and they're so filling. Again, I kind of am big on the healthy fats because they're really gonna help your brain to think and function at school. And now I'm just gonna finish off this video with a couple of my favorite things to take when I'm on the go. So this first one is the Trader Joe's Roasted Coconut Chips. Again, I love coconut, but these are amazing. Like, I I love these so much. They're my favorite things from Trader Joe's probably ever. I love their kale chips too, but these, I would have to say, top the kale chips. They are unbelievably delicious. So the ingredients are coconut salt, sugar, coconut milk, and coconut juice. So there's nothing like unnatural in here. There is sugar, but there's no weird preservatives or anything like that. These are very healthy. A little bit of sugar is okay for you. Your body knows how to use it and process it and everything like that. There's no weird junk in it is what I'm trying to say. So I love, love these. So the last thing that I want to talk about is the roasted seaweed snack from Trader Joe's. Now before you think it's really gross because I actually used to think it was really gross, but I retried them recently and I absolutely love them. They're like crunchy and salty and they're so good. I would definitely recommend checking these out. They're only 99 cents and uh, they have a tiny little bit of protein in them, just a little bit, but they're just fun to munch on and I would try them before you say that you don't like them because you never know until you try, right guys? That is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I just dropped the seaweed. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.